What's up guys, we're back. In this video, we're gonna talk about what I think is one of the most important things to start making sales doing freelance, marketplace freelancing, but it's also one of the ones that gets overlooked the most often, and that is the title of the service. So what I mean by the title is this portion here that shows up at the beginning of your service, basically. And it also shows up on your sales page, so here. So it's really important that you get something right. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna look at an example of some very good ones and an example of some not so good ones and then some things that you should absolutely avoid. So let's start with a really good one. So this particular freelancer does a great job with this and he does a great job with branding in general. So we'll probably be showing that a little bit more, but if you come up here, you'll see instead of, this is just a, an SEO service where he just does some link building and a few other things, but what he calls it instead of, I will do SEO service for you, he says death to page two rankings. So if you see that in like the shop or you know in the marketplace or on his store, it's going to intrigue you because that could be, mean a lot. That's a pain point. People that want to rank their website in Google will want to get from page two to page one. So bam, that shows you that. The one thing, if I had one piece of feedback for him, would be that it's a, a little bit vague. I find that if, if you can include a tiny bit of what you do, then that helps a little, but I think that's very powerful. This is a better example of from the same freelancer. It says atomic bomb of social signal justice. Now social signals, in case you don't know, are a key component of an SEO campaign. And this not just says, doesn't just say, I will do 7,250 social signals for you. It says atomic bomb, which gives it like the impression that it's gonna blow up your rankings and make it big and better. And he's got the, um, the emoji here, which makes it a little more eye-catching. And social signal justice, that just makes it more catchy, and more engaging. So he does a great job of that. I am not per per Let's take a look at some of mine. So for example, I have Superstar SEO Ranking Rocket. All this is, is again, it's a basic SEO service but the ranking rocket gives you the impression that your rankings are going to rocket to the top, you know? And then it has my brand name in it, which is Superstar SEO. Let's see, there's... This one's a bit too long, so that's probably not great. Social Signals Nuclear Bomb, he copied me on that one, I think. <laughs> that's my story. Complete YouTube video ranking service done for you. See, that's a good one too. It's not as catchy as some of the others, but it tells you, it gives you the impression that your worries are with your YouTube is over and this is a complete package. So those are some things to look at and we'll talk about key components, but I just wanted to give you some examples. Now, let's look at some that are not so great. See, this is a service that has sold well because he has a good reputation, but I don't like his title at all. Anything that starts with, and I'm gonna talk about this more, but any of these that start with I will do or I am or anything like that are terrible because you're talking about yourself and you're not talking about what value the service provides to the customer. Now, the reason that so many people do this is that there are certain marketplaces that force you to have, have it start with I will. But that's not the case. Like We want you to use something, we, at Legit, we want something creative that will stand out or at least give you the freedom to do that. Same thing here. I'll design a flat minimalist logo. That doesn't get me excited at all. There's a million people that can do that. So you want to avoid this I will and then put in something clever. So something clever and that still kind of describes what it is you're going to do. So let's talk about some key components of a good headline or title. So real quickly, some of the elements of a good title are something that entices a customer to click the service. You almost want to be borderline clickbait. So think about things like YouTube and Buzzfeed where they have shocking five things revealed, although you don't want to be quite that cheesy about it. You want to do something that catches someone's attention and makes them want to click on that service and see what it's all about. You want something that's catchy and memorable that what I see a lot of is just a description of what you do. So 30 PR, high PR links or 
logo minimalist logo design things like that aren't good enough you want like we showed something that stands out a little bit you know social signals nuclear bomb or ranking rocket or something that has a bit of a memorable feel to it that's kind of cool and kind of catchy that really makes people want to see what it's all about and then you want to give a little bit of info on what the service does so like that one we saw we, sh we showed was nuclear bomb of social signals at least it tells you that it's social signals now you don't want to go into depth in the title that's what the sales page is for but you want to make sure that you at least give them an idea of what it is because they might not know or that it's what they need so if you for for example i've seen some that try to go like full make money online with their headlines and say things like increase your sales in seven days or something like that and it doesn't tell you at all what it does and those just don't get clicked on so you want to give a, at least a little piece of information on what the service is but also combine it in a catchy and memorable way that entices people to click on it and then some things that you want to avoid with your title or headline is like i mentioned before starting it with i will do because first of all people ignore that anyway because they're so used to it but it also it puts it back on you and we don't want to be about you we want to be about the customer and how your service solves their problem whether it's they need a logo or they need seo or whatever you want the entire focus to be on them so by saying i will do you're taking it off of them and putting it on to you so you don't want that plus it's just it's white noise because people are so used to seeing it so you don't want to be overly descriptive so 10 pr high pr links plus 30 high da links plus no one's going to read all that plus it's plus it's not very exciting you don't want to get too descriptive like i said you do know you do want to mention what the service is about but you don't want it to be so descriptive that you do you give them no reason to click on it if you tell them exactly what it is you're going to get people that won't click but if you can bring them onto your page and then hook them with your sales copy which we'll talk about in another video that's a little bit different or it's a lot different actually and then the other thing you want to avoid is being boring so no one gets excited by flat minimalist logo design but change your your business's brand forever with a classy minimalist logo design or something like that would be much more is a much more enticing way of saying the same thing and it's not boring so you never ever want to be boring so spend some time on this test different ones ask in the facebook group if you have questions or if you want me to me or anybody else in the group to look it over and kind of see what if you think if you have one if it's any good if it needs work that sort of thing test it out see what works and let us know if you have any questions and i'll see you in the next video